Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit architecture. I am architect Sonu Rai from Glad Studio and in this today video tutorial I am going to teach you how to apply materials in Revit and also I will tell you how to create your own material library in Revit. So there are various methods in which we can apply materials in Revit so I will discuss each one. So suppose if you want to apply material on this wall you can select this wall here and you can go to properties browser and you will select edit type here and in edit type you will again select a structure and edit and edit assembly you can select this structure and you can see the material of this wall which i have applied here and i have renamed as wall material so you will click three dots here and material browser will be open and you can see this is the wall material which I have applied on the entire wall and some information about this wall material on the right side so you can see this information this is the appearance here you can see this is the gypsum board painted white material I have applied and you can see information about this and this is the bomb silk cutout transparency reflectivity tint so I will tell you how to use it and you can see this is the graphics here and in graphics there are shading and surface pattern and foreground so these are the pattern if you click this you can see uh, some pattern uh, about materials like diagonal cross edge and if you want to apply or wall you can select any of these diagonal up and diagonal down and it, it will appear in your drawing so I will discuss this also in coming tutorials and this is the identity so there is some descriptive information and product information and Revit annotation information which comes default here so uh, this is the material of wall and now I will come to appearance and now if you want to make some uh, editing into this you will right click here and you can edit this material properties and you can also create duplicate so if you want to click uh, if you want to make duplicate of this I will click this duplicate material here and duplicate of this wall material is created again if you want to delete this you will right click you will right click this and simply press delete so uh, your material will be deleted and you can rename also by right clicking and you can rename and you can see below here material libraries so this is the material libraries and this is the sphere with plus sign if you click this you will see you can create new material by using this and again you can create duplicate selected material so if you want to make duplicate again you can do it from this also and besides this this is the asset browser if you bring your mouse here you will see this is open public closes asset browser so the asset browser is the collection of default material libraries of Revit. so i will tell you how to use it so suppose if you want to create new material you will simply click this and you will click this create new material and you can again see this is the default material so i am going to rename this so i am using it for a wall so i am going to rename this as a wall Front. So we we'll select this wall front, and you should be, uh, you should make sure that this uh, default material is selected here, and you can see this is the some general information about the appearance of this material, and you can see this uh, spherical symbol here, and you can if you click this arrow here. And you can see scene environment and render setting here so scene is a sphere so you are seeing the material uh, color or textures in a spherical form so if you want in cube form you select this cube so this information will be in cube form and again if you want in cylindrical form so it will be in cylindrical so it, it is up to you how you want to see your materials information and uh, you can see some generic information here so now i am going to uh, tell you how to apply materials here so i am going to this asset browser here i will select this open or close this asset browser i will select this 
and in asset browser you can see some default materials here and you can see two uh, important topic here one is autodex physical asset this is having some materials and appearance library so i am going to first uh, double click this and you can see this is the selling material so if you click selling materials there are only two types in autodex physical assets and in ceramic also there are some materials mosaic grey porcelain like this and in concrete also there are some materials and if you click here glass you can see some default materials which we can use in our project but there are only 10 to 12 glass materials so it is in a limited number so and if you select flooring also there are only 12 to 14 limited number of flooring materials so uh, i am going to again click on this and it will come to this appearance library i am going to click this and you can see uh, in flooring if you click flooring you can see there are more numbers of materials which we can use in our revit project and it, this will be sufficient for a good rendering and also if you come to glass here you can see there are more numbers than autodex physical assets so we can use any of these so i am using for my wall so i will go for any uh, i want to use stone for my wall so i can use any of the stone texture here so i will use this small uneven rectangular stone and if i am bringing mouse here you can see this is the arrow which is for replace the current asset in the editor with this asset so if you want to use this material you will click this arrow here so you can see this material is applied in your wall front material and it's getting updated here you can see this material has appeared here and also it is updated here wall front so now we are ready and i will simply close this and i will click on this apply then ok and now our material is changed and i am going to click ok apply ok so now you can see these materials are applied all over the wall with this texture here so this is the one method in which we can apply materials by selecting the properties of this wall or any floor and uh, you can also do it separately by going to your manage tab here and in manage tab you can see this symbol here materials here so you can again click on these materials And if you click on material again material browser will be open and you can also create same uh, new material from this uh, material also so i am going to create another material you can see here this is the wall front material which we have created just now so again i am going to material libraries and i will create new material and i am going to rename this as wall interior And I am going to create all interior here, any material. I will select this and I will open asset browser here and I will go to appearance library and I am going to paint here and we can we'll select wall paint and I am going to apply. this is the sand so I am going to click on this and you can see it is getting updated in our wall interior material and I can click on this walk apply ok but we have created from manage so we need to apply this material which we have created on inside of this wall 
So in previously we just selected the properties of the wall and applied the material from there. For, for applying this you are required to modify, you are required to go to modify and you will select this paint material here, paint and it's a paint which applies a material to the faces of the element. So paint tool. So you can say it's a paint tool. So if you want to apply material, you can simply click on this or else you can type shortcut command pt on your keyboard and this paint browser will open and you can see our material here wall interior and wall front material and if you will bring your mouse outside and you can see this wall interior is selected you can see paint symbol is attached with our mouse here so if you want to apply for this interior wall you can simply bring your uh, mouse here and you can see this interior face of the wall is selected you can click once and it is applied here and if you want to apply it here you can apply it so one advantage is that you can apply different material on both sides of the wall so for interior this tool will be handy and for this type of wall also if you uh, go to edit properties and apply material so material will be applied on the both sides but if you will use this paint tool here can apply on the single face of the wall so uh, this is the one method you can create your uh, material by going to manage tab so you can do as per your project so suppose if you want to apply any material on this floor so you can simply select this and I will go to edit type here and again I will go to structure edit and default new material I will click this on three dot and I am going to create a new material for floor and I will go to this default new material right click on this and I will rename this as a floor and set this floor here and now I will go to asset browser and I will go to appearance library here and we will go to flooring here I will select this and I will apply this beech wood Ambrato and I will click on this arrow you can see this material is applied here it is getting updated and it will be updated here also so I am going to apply this ok and ok apply ok so you can see this material is applied here floor material wooden flooring so you can see this is uh, applied here on the floor so if you want to change the scale you can again select the material of the floor and you can go to edit type edit and you can select this floor material and can go to this image here which is the wood here which wood amaretto and you can click on this image and you can see texture editor you can edit the texture of this uh, material so it will come down here you can see this is the scale here so if i am increasing the scale your scale in the project will be increased so i am going to make it large six feet to make you understand and you can see it uh, your width is increased your height is also uh, completely increased to same length 6 feet 6 feet because this is the spec ratio which is locked here and if you unlock it you can enter separate value so 6 feet and I am going to enter here 5 feet so you can see there are different values for width and height so you have to uncheck this spec ratio locking so I am going to click done apply ok ok apply ok 
so you can see scale of this wood material is increased so this is the one method how you can increase the scale of your material in Revit so now I will tell you how you can create your own material libraries in Revit so suppose uh, if you want to apply uh, for this wall your own uh, customized material and which is not available in Revit so you can go to Google and you can download your texture first so I'm going to wall cladding texture and suppose if I'm going to select this this wall material and I'm going to save this image and I'm going to download and I will I will use this material in Revit so I'm going to uh, my manage tab here and I will go to materials and I will go to this symbol here create new material and I'm going to rename this as wall interior and we we'll select this wall interior and now I will go to this right side information here of appearance and you will select this image here you will just select this image and it will take to uh, your folder so where you have saved so I'm I have saved on my download folder so I will go to downloads and you can see this is the material which I have downloaded from Google I will select this and I will open and you can see this material is updated here so likewise you can select this material again and you can edit the texture of this material you can uh, edit a scale from here going down here and you can adjust the scale so suppose I am going to make it uh, 3 feet with 3 feet and I will click OK apply OK so now we need to apply our material to interior of the wall so suppose I want to apply here so I will click on shortcut command and so I will go and check our new material which is wall interior here too so we will select this and now I am going to select this interior of this wall and I will click on this so you can see this material is applied here likewise you can do it for your ground floor also and any other wall surface so likewise you can work in Revit so this is the method in which we can create our own library in Revit and later on I will tell you how to apply material separately customize surfaces some parts of the wall in the next coming tutorial so this was the tutorial of how we will apply materials in Revit so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel thanks